My engineering team was given the task of designing a structural model of the human leg. This is what ensued. So for this project, we were asked to construct a truss system and then analyze some of the forces acting on the members. Um, we also had to prove this through a loading cell um, using the PASCO systems. And in order to do that, we also had to make a hanger to put the weights on to measure the forces. Another requirement of this project was to design and build a hanger that could be used to hang mass from to measure the force in different members of our model. I did this using the program SOLIDWORKS. I designed three different hangers and chose one that was relatively simple and easy to build. We used a 3D printer to print the part. The hanger is basically a platform that can be loaded with weights and hung from any part of the model. We can then use the load cells to determine the force acting on any member of the model. So to actually construct our human leg model, we used a series of beams and a couple axles and screws, and then we used some flat connectors and then half round connectors to construct the leg model. And um, the beams correspond to the actual bones in the body. So this front beam here would be the tibia, and then back here, the fibula, and then you have the patellar, and then this top beam here would be your femur. Um, we're mainly just focusing on the fibula in the back there. We're trying to um, discover if the um, fibula is in tension or compression when we add a certain weight hanging from the heel here. So we loaded this um, platform with 200 grams and then this loading cell, it is telling us how much force is being applied to this beam right here. And um, using the PASCO system, we discovered it ranges between um, around negative 0.95 to negative 1.0-ish. And it's negative because it's in tension. Um, according to the PASCO system, if it's negative, then it is in tension. If it's positive, it's in compression. So the fibula is in tension here. and when we solved it on paper earlier, we also discovered that it is intention, so they match up. For part of this project, we had to create our truss, and then from there we were finding the load off of one of these load cells, and as you can see, our load cell is placed here. And so a matter it was a matter of writing it down on paper and then solving for the cell. So how we did that is we had to dissect our whole piece and uh, try to figure out the force members that would be present. And so it basically came down to this part of the leg here. And so this represents this back part here. This would be the force member that we're looking for. And then from there, we were able to make this drawing. These measurements are from just taken from the actual piece itself. Uh, we started off with using the law of cosines to solve for this angle here. And then from there, we needed to find our weight, which is kind of counteracting at this point here. Um, our weight we knew would be, if we are assuming 200 grams on just the one force member here, uh, it would end up being 1.962 newtons. And from there, we were able to specifically look at this joint. And from that joint, we know that there are three forces acting the weight in the negative y direction and then a force CA and a force AB with just keep in mind force AB is what we knew we needed to solve for. So if we take the forces in the x direction 
we are able to see that force AB is equal to force CA, which doesn't mean a lot there, but if we bring it down and look at the forces in the Y direction, that helps us out a lot. We're able to get rid of uh, one of our two unknowns, and then from there we can come up with this equation, which we eventually will use to solve for the force AB on our load cell. Um, given that we know what the weight is, we solved for that earlier, and given that uh, the angle AB is a bisection of B, so it'll just be B over 2. This project was very interesting. It allowed us to take some of the theory that we learned behind structural analysis and apply it to a real-life situation, which could then be tested using some of the lab equipment we have. For my entire team, I'm Darian Pakula. Thanks for watching.